recognized as Oklahoma's Balladeer since 1998 by the state legislature, an accomplished presenter of cowboy, western, and traditional folk and country music from Oklahoma, with 16 albums to his credit. Les Gillum was born October 18, 1934, in an Ardmore, Oklahoma hospital, the only member of his family born in a medical facility. However, his hometown is Gene Autry, Oklahoma, where he and his family lived until he was 15. As a youngster, his family's ranch backed up to Gene Autry's, and his memories of the man and his music are still strong. He grew up in Gene Autry and attended school in the building that is now the Gene Autry, Oklahoma Museum. He was seven years old when they changed the name of his town to Gene Autry after his neighbor and hero. Subsequently, the Gillums moved to Ardmore where Les started singing on KVSO radio in Ardmore and KTEN television in Ada. He worked his way through Murray Junior College, now Murray State, playing with the Arbuckle Mountain Boys and with basically the same band at Oklahoma A&M, now Oklahoma State, where he eventually graduated with a mathematics degree. After graduation, Gillum moved to Dallas where he was a cast member of the Big D Jamboree for several years. Music then became more of an avocation while he spent 38 years in the computer business and he and his wife Martha raised their family. After retiring from the high-tech world, he went into the music business full-time, presenting a solo show of cowboy country music on acoustic guitar and performing as many as 100 dates per year. Within that format, he presents the highly acclaimed Cowboy Hit Parade Show, counting down the top cowboy hits of the singing cowboy era and the Oklahoma Pride Show, where he takes listeners on a history trip of Oklahoma country music. Along with his band Silver Lake, Les has given numerous concerts and western-style dances across the five-state region contiguous to Oklahoma, the International Country Music Festival in Vienna, Austria, and in several states across the U.S., including a series of dates for Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri since 1997 to the present. Additionally, Gillum has represented the state in Washington, D.C. at the Kennedy Center's Millennium Celebration, which featured music from each of the 50 states. Gillum was chosen to represent Oklahoma in the prestigious 1999 event. With his comforting and smooth baritone voice, humorous and thoughtful delivery, as well as his bright and fluent cowboy guitar picking style, Gillum has recorded 16 independent albums of well-known and original country, western, and gospel music. Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with a Mexican girl. Nighttime would find me in Rosa's Cantina, music would play and Felina would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Felina, wicked and evil while casting her spell. My love was strong for this Mexican maiden, I was in love but in vain I could tell. Along with the Wrangler Award, Gillum received the Oklahoma Governor's Arts Award in 2006 for his many years of keeping Western music alive and informing Oklahomans of their musical heritage through his entertaining and informative performances. For his lifelong contributions to the vitalization of Western and singing cowboy music, in 2008, the Gene Autry Oklahoma Museum gave Les its Lifetime Achievement Award. For all of these accomplishments, on November 4, 2010, Les Gillum received his home state's highest official musical honor as an inductee into the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame.